collaboration is the key. I mean, I don't see even an inch moving forward without collaboration. It is important that you know when we have clearly defined unified 17 SDGs, nobody can achieve all of them all by themselves, right? So it is important to collaborate here and there where synergies match, where ideologies and goals match. Academia has the power to go in depth. Industry has the power to go really wide. So imagine like a T-graph. So you have the width, you have the depth. It's just about that particular point, that intersecting point, which matters the most right now to the planet. One example being from destination marketing organizations that really promote how, you know, like, like visit Thailand, come have fun. It's it's a nice beach, uh, sunny place, and all. To a destination management organization concept, wherein you know, visit those parts of Thailand that have immense potential and would be benefited through your presence as as a visitor, right? So those kind of uh, changes, when examined deeply through academics, and then collaborated it through real time industry execution, is I think the way ahead if and only if you know we have to proceed because this one thing that i go by there's this one saying by this amazing researcher called john swabrook he wrote this book called sustainable tourism management in 1999 imagine in 1999 he wrote about this he said it's hedonicity tourism is meant to have it's, it's meant to be you know it's like like engaging a lot of fun has to be involved in that and now People, when the wave of sustainability started, were very active in sustainable lifestyles, were very active in sustainability when it comes to their works, workplace. But then, you know, when tired of their sustainability lifestyle and routine, they want to have a vacation where they want to just relax and be in this hedonistic, uh, you know, stature. And that's where the trouble happens. So if, you know, through effective communication, by bringing in storytelling, by decomplexifying the hard data into something which is much more meaningful, academia has great potential to do that because they again have the time with the bandwidth to do it. So that's where I feel like the future lies.